Hello and welcome to this episode of Cosmic Crow Terra, where today we're going to be unboxing and taking a first look at the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. As you can tell, this box is still in the plastic, which means I haven't seen what the cards look like either, but I didn't want to open it until after Thanksgiving because it didn't really seem right to start focusing on Christmas until Thanksgiving was over. There's a lot of like negativity attached to that holiday, but the main focus on it, I really feel, is being grateful and thankful for all the good in our lives. And I'm very thankful to add this deck to my collection because I want to get connected to my witchy side a little bit more, and I think these cards will help me do that. I get really depressed this time of year when the trees lose all their leaves and like the warmth goes away and it's cold and, well, for lack of a better word, miserable. So this is hopefully going to help me like you know, enjoy and have great gratitude for the months ahead. So let's get this deck out of the plastic and we'll go through the cards together. And as always, if you see the cards and you like what you see, then I'll have the link down in the description below where you can purchase this deck yourself. Now, personally, I got this deck from magic.com. So that's most likely the link that I will share underneath if they still have it available. Because whenever you order from them, um, most of the time they have at least 20% off your order and they always give you a crystal with it. So that's kind of a cool little thing that other places don't do. Okay, plastic is off and you can see it's in a nice little two-piece box. And here's the back of the deck and I'll go ahead and share what it says here. It says, and the wheel turns. Yule reminds us of warmth, happiness, and a time to be thankful for all that we have. For centuries, ancient healers have celebrated the restorative energy of the Yuletide Festival, the traditional harsh winter, winters reminding us of our impressive ability to weather through storms, through tough storms, and find support and comfort with loved ones. In Seasons of the Witch, Yuletide Oracle, you'll find 44 healing messages to align you with the divine wisdom of the year's darkest night and the joyful celebration associated with the winter holidays. The oracle is your path to deep reflection and tranquility and is a promise of the brighter days to come. So that's a really inspirational thing to put on the back and, you know, I'm really excited to see what the cards look like. So go ahead and separate the box there. And there we see we have a very nice guidebook as well as a nice little thing here that says download your free Rockpool Oracle card reading cards now. And that's on an app. You can see here it's very thick, uh, excuse me, very thick. And the pictures in here are actually colored, which is rare in um, guidebooks, it seems. They always want to do like black and white, but you can see the pictures there are very colored. And then the deck itself, brand new, you can see it's still on the plastic too. And now they are free and open as well. And the first card we have in this deck, and they are all labeled too, so you can put them back in order if you want, because you see there's the one, is Bear Medicine. Oh, I'm actually going to do it this way because that way, you know, well, trying to think before I do it. We'll do it this way. That works. Um, you can see there's bear medicine, candle magic, cardinal medicine. And now you think like when you're looking at the trees and stuff, the only trees that are, are green this time of year, especially for us in the northern hemisphere. I know places like Florida and I believe parts of California and stuff, you know, you have the green trees and the leaves and everything year round. It's like summer year round. So you might not experience like this kind of little excitement during um, winter season where you see the pine trees and the cardinals and stuff are like right there in the pine trees. And I've also read where um, cardinals, when you see them, it's often can show that spring is not too far away. So there's a hope and inspiration in cardinals too. Then we have the fourth card, which is ceremony. Five is chills. It's definitely something you feel this time of year is chills because it's cold. Cold moon, contemplation, Crone. I can see now where it seems to be we're in alphabetical order as well, so that's interesting. Darkest Hour and Dove Medicine. Falling in Love. Family. Father Christmas. Feasting. Forest. And that's got like witchy vibes on it because you have the witch on a broomstick. Frost. Gatherings. Gratitude. Hearth light, merriment, mistletoe, mother mary, offerings, ornaments, perseverance, poinsettia, beautiful flower we all think about this time of year, reindeer medicine, remembering, ringing the bells, self-care, 
Silent Night, Snow, also something we are very, very aware of this time of year, Solstice, and you know the winter solstice, the holiday the pagans definitely celebrate, and it's been celebrated for millennia, and that's December 21st, Squirrel Medicine, Star, Storm, Telling Stories, Tranquility, Turning Inward, The Unknown, Wise Men, Wreath, and last but certainly not least, Yule Log. I don't know if we can pick, yeah, definitely pick this up on the, on this video. Or it's like beautiful gold foil on the sides of it. So I really want to add the rest of these to my collection, especially the ones relating to the different seasons. Because you know winter solstice is the beginning of winter. And they have one for Samhain, which is like Halloween and fall. And Mabon, I don't remember what that one's called, but um, there's that one. And Beltane as well. So I'm curious if they've got this like nice foil of different colors too. So that's definitely something I'll be adding later on. And I'll share them with you too. And there is the back of the card and the illustration on the back. And so it's really nice because you don't know if you're getting it upright or reversed so you've got like two different meanings there so we have that and we'll put them back in the deck and we'll take a little book look at the guidebook before we end this video as well so you have an idea what it's like too i've showed you the pictures inside of it but we'll go ahead and open it up and read the first like look at the first little pictures there's the about the author and about the illustrator and then the introduction, and you have the witch there, because let's not forget, this is Seasons of the Witch, so it helps you connect with your own inner witch. And there's how to use these cards, so it gives you an idea. And you have different spreads in here, too, that you can use. And so I'm considering using one of these um, for Winter Solstice and doing a spread with this Oracle deck instead of necessarily tarot cards, but I might mix them, and that's what I really like about having Oracle cards. As you might know, I'm a huge fan of tarot. Tarot is always my first love. But I like adding oracle cards too because they give you another aspect that a tarot card wouldn't necessarily get. So there's the guidebook. We can see it's very thick and it comes in like a very nice box. The cards are very good quality. They're kind of flimsy, but hey, they're cardstock. What do you expect? So keep them in the box. Keep them safe. It's a beautiful deck. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description below where you can purchase this deck for your own collection. And... I always, always, I want to thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.